what a variety of models. The powered arm prosthesis race is a real eye-catcher. The prosthesis come in a variety of shapes, colors and sizes. But the goal is the same for all pilots – to solve as many tasks as possible. Depending on the model, creativity is also required. Or in other words, a plastic bag. The French team Smart Arm uses a plastic bag for the task with the sweater, so that pilot Christophe Huchet can get into the sleeve easily. This is a clever solution. Others, like the German team Cyber TUM, have to skip this task. Simona Klima's prosthesis, which was developed by students in just one year, struggles with many tasks. And Simona also has to carry a lot of technology in her backpack. This prosthesis by Beat Grossen from the Swiss team BFH Youth is also exciting. Beat is the only pilot who can change the hand of the prosthesis. So he can choose his prosthesis depending on the task. A task in which the pilots use very different strategies is the final task. Here the teams have to stack cups. And here we see the whole variety of strategies. The pilots use completely different methods depending on the prosthesis. But the biggest challenge in the whole race is the haptic box. This was to be expected, because this task is new in the program. Here the pilots have to detect hidden objects with their prosthesis. This requires a lot of dexterity. Many mistakes are made in this task. The Italian team Rehab Tech, for example, gives away a place in the top 4 in this task. The quartet in the top four was absolutely impressive, including Elina Shukova from the Russian team Supermotorica. Elina stepped in very short term as backup pilot and solves the task in a very clear and concentrated manner. With breathtaking speed, Krunoslav Mihic is on the job. The pilot of the Croatian team Makerhand solves the tasks incredibly fast. With his speed, he qualifies for the top four. But is he flawless? Maria Fossati, the pilot of the Italian Softhand Pro team, has an impressively flexible prosthesis. She also makes it into the top four. Maria is very skilled and very fast. Is this the mixture that brings her the victory? Magnus Niska from the Swedish e Opera team also made it into the top four. His prosthesis looks very similar to a biological arm and Magnus seems to have a lot of feeling with it. Will he be the winner? Here is the ranking. Three teams just missed the top four. The Swiss team with Beat Grossen, the Italian team with Kolian Rossi and the Swedish team with Tony Forsberg each failed only one task. The teams below all failed to solve at least two tasks and therefore missed the top four as well. In the top four are therefore, in alphabetical order, Krunislav Mihic, Maria Fossati, Magnus Niska and Elina Shukova. Who will win?